Hello lovely people, this is another commentary video of me dancing Clara at age 14. I have posted this video before without commentary, which I'll link for you guys, but I want to take you through it for some more Baby Katie insights, as well as some Nutcracker thoughts. Um, I remember getting to do this role and it was like the best thing ever because she is so important. It's such a big role, especially for a young dancer. I mean, yes, Sugar Plum is important, but without Clara, there really wouldn't be Nutcracker. Um, and it was just the most fun ever because it's all about acting. It's all about the joy of Christmas and the joy of, you know, the season. Um, Fritz there is played by Simeon. I can't remember his last name. This was so long ago, but he was a brilliant Fritz. I had so much fun with him. Um, look, Mommy, can you fix my hair? Oh, yes, darling. Uh, this is with Mobile Ballet when I was younger. The sets and costumes for this thing are just unreal. I mean, it looks professional. Um, and I remember the, the biggest thing about mime dancers, this is something I didn't really learn until later, and being a character, is you can't overdo it, but it has to be big enough for people to see in the back row. And that's the, that is the hard thing about acting in ballet, which I did an acting in ballet video, but you have to make it believable, yet big. So slow and big is better than fast and, and small. Um, and again, I was not the greatest at mime at this age. I, this character just happens to be a happy, excited child, which I was at the time, so it worked. But think big and slow. Ooh, that was a good arabesque. Ooh, get that leg up there, girl. Well, when you're that age, it's easy. You don't know how hard it is. That's the thing about young dancers. 13, 14, 15, you don't know how hard it is at that point. And that's why you're fearless, I think. When you get a little bit older and you realize just how difficult ballet is, that's when you get in your own head. So that's another tip, dancers. Try and keep that mentality you had as a young dancer, that you just went for it, you enjoyed it, you loved it, um, and it wasn't as, as hard as it is. You didn't think it was that hard. <laughs> okay, so here we moved on a little bit. Um, in this particular version, she's sort of having a mental, a happy mental moment where it's like, oh, it's Christmas Eve and it's my party. Yeah. That's why everybody freezes here. It's just like you get inside her head for a minute. Um, and uh, before the, the official dancing starts, uh, depending on the version of Nutcracker, typically, whoops, hello, traffic problem. Typically, it, ha it takes place in Victorian times. Uh, so late 1800s, maybe early 1900s, Edwardian times. That's what we're going for here, typically, traditional nutcracker. So, you know, that's why the father has the big, you know, was wearing that particular costume and the mothers are all in these dresses. New York City Ballets is that as well. Um, we were all in Victorian dresses, those of us in the party scene. Um, and, you know, the sort of formal Christmas party. That's the point of this, if you were new to ballet, it's the kind of Christmas party, think the kind of Christmas party you would have had at Downton Abbey, essentially. You know, very formal, very um, elegant, maybe some, some dancing, uh, which we don't really do anymore, but that is the point of this whole Christmas party. Um, where there were no televisions and no, you know, iPhones. <laughs> so we, what did you have to do to entertain yourself? Sing and dance. So that is the whole point of the, the Christmas party at the beginning of the ballet. Um, you know, also dancers, some different versions, depending on the company you see. Clara is sometimes a child. In New York City Ballet's version, she is a, a probably eight-year-old kid. They are not on point. There's not a lot of complicated dancing. Um, some versions, she starts young and grows up. I think at least in PNB's old version, that was the case. Some versions, Clara, is the entire show and she also then does the sugar plum pot -da, and there is no sugar plum it's just Clara doing the pot -da. so there are so many different versions of Nutcracker um, and in this particular one she's on point she dances but there is a sugar plum all right here is this little thing with Fritz that was awfully fun because I got to be naughty <laughs> you get to be like that annoying sister you know like eh, stop go away um, that's that's the whole point of this dance um, when your brother is chasing you around with a sword. Ooh, Katie, back leg on that jeté. That was not, that was not good. Hmm, <laughs> hmm. Stick your nose in the air uh, and jump on your soda bosque. Get off the floor on your soda bosque. Okay. 
What's amazing to me, though, right here is the parents are oblivious. Like, he's running around chasing her with a sword, and oh my god, I'm really early right here. Fill out the time. Um, and the parents are totally oblivious. <laughs> oh, anyway. It was fun to do, though. You know, and as again, as a 14-year-old, it's just like, this is you as a 14-year-old child. There's not a lot of acting required. That was actually pretty decent. Okay, here comes the first signs of Drosselmeyer. I guess we're skipping, skipping that scene. Um, oh, look, Clara, darling. I have a present for you. Really? Yes. <gasps> An old man doll. Just what I've always wanted. Yes, that's going on a post. Stay tuned. Um, <laughs> an old man doll. This, this, this is what I've never understood about this ballet. This little child gets an old man soldier doll. Now, I can't help but think that she might want actually like a pretty doll or, you know, a pretty dress or, you know, in Victorian times, a parasol. Will he grow? No, darling. A wood toy cannot grow. Oh, well. Anyway, I just, that's just, that has always cracked me up. I've never understood that. It's not even like he's like a Ken doll. You know what I mean? He's this little old man soldier wooden doll that cracks nuts. Like, I've <laughs> never understood that. Never understood that at all. Anyway, um, speaking of posts, if you've been following me on Facebook, I've started um, posting some of everybody's favorite one-liners from these commentaries uh, on pictures on my Facebook page. I'll link it below. Uh, and you guys are getting a kick out of them, as, as well as I am making them, so. Um, this was hard to not, you know, he's he's not the lightest thing in the world, so to dance with him with this big heavy doll is not easy. I was never a fan of props anyway. Props always scared me, because I was worried I was going to drop it or break it or not get it in time. It just makes things complicated. Um, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. This is rigged, by the way. Um... The hat has a little peg, typically on, on every version that he breaks, if if it comes apart. It's like the, the peg, the hat's on a peg and you pull it apart and it looks like, quote unquote, it broke, but actually uh, it's totally rigged. Um, looking forlorn. Here, darling, let me just put my handkerchief around it and make it all better. And that's the beauty of children, they'll believe that. You know, oh, it's all better now, thank you. You know, so that's that's very sweet. Um, in City Ballet's version, which I really like, Drosselmeyer puts the, the handkerchief around the doll. And then there's a scene where Clara falls asleep on the couch, and he comes in and fixes it with a screwdriver to kind of show you, okay, reality of the situation is it's not magic. <laughs> I have to put it back together manually. I always like that part at New York City Ballet's Nutcracker. Oop, arms are a little far behind you for that promenade. Dancing with this one. Yeah, okay, see, dancers, promenade. Your arms cannot be behind you. If they are behind you, your back arches and you're not in a solid position. So um, that's a partnering tip. You know, And that was a very basic promenade. But still, uh, keep your arms in front of you on a promenade. And guys, make sure the girl's arms are not behind her. If you pull the arms back, her back has to arch and she's off her leg. So if anything, guys, when you're doing a promenade with someone, feel that her arms are in front, like your arms are in front, so then her arms can be in front. That's just a little tip. I really liked this version of Nutcracker because I got to dance a lot as Clara. Sometimes you don't, um, sometimes it's a lot in act one and then that's it, but I, I did get to dance in the Waltz of the Flowers in act two, so this is, this is just a great, great version of Nutcracker choreographed by the amazing Winter Corey who is my mentor and who danced with the Royal Winnipeg Ballet and the National Ballet of Canada. So, uh, Fritz being bad again. Brothers, I don't have one, but what I've heard about him, especially, I guess he's, you know, it's interesting, Fritz is supposed to be the little brother. Simeon just happened to be taller than me, but, you know, Fritz is the little brother, the annoying little brother that steals all your stuff. Um, okay, back for, an hey, let's do another dance. We finished our dinner. Let's dance again. Dancing with Drosselmeyer this time. See, and again, these are very formal looking dances. Even in other versions, I've seen very formal, like everybody's in a line and um, again, throwing it back to that time period, how they would have danced, how they would have acted. Um, 
And party scene is something that, especially at New York City Ballet, every apprentice and young core member has done something in party scene. It is sort of a required rite of passage at New York City Ballet. Um, you either are a maid, short people tend to be a maid or the grandmother. I was the grandmother. That was rather interesting. Or, and then the taller people tend to be the mothers. So there's a, there's a height difference between the kids and the mothers, you know, as much of a height difference as, there, as you can show. So um, I was the grandmother, which, you know, you wear the little wig and glasses, and it was fun. I felt kind of silly, but <laughs> it was fun. But it is a rite of passage, passage at New York City Ballet. Everybody does party scene. It's like every woman does snow. You know, it is something that every woman in the company has been a part of. Every person in the company has been a part of party scene at New York City Ballet. All right, so now the guests are leaving. Everybody's tired. Time to go home. See ya. Thanks for coming. It was an awfully short party. About 20 minutes. <laughs> I think I've gone back to get the nutcracker on the sofa. I should be standing in the... Oh, there we are. Okay. Yeah, she comes back to the line. I remember this part. Simi and I, this was not choreographed, but Simi and I totally just made this up. Again, being bratty children. See him. <laughs> we totally... This was totally made up every show. Him trying to get the nutcracker and just be bad. and It was fun. He was great. Simeon, wherever you are, I hope you're doing well. Ooh, shoot, go away. Oh, that was fun. Just sometimes with, with these kind of roles, the brattier, the brattier you are, the more fun it is. <laughs> so put the toys down, and this is where you run off and have like a 30 second costume change to your nightgown before the battle scene. And that is pretty much it, you guys. Um, again, I love doing these commentary videos for you. They are so much fun. I hope you enjoy them. I have more coming. A lot of you have asked for Romeo and Juliet. I am working on that one. I also will probably do Sugar Plum. Uh, so, so glad you're enjoying them. If you missed my video on mastering your tombe coupe jeté, it's right there. You can click it to watch. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you next time.